Hello again YouTube, this is Fahrenheit646, welcome back, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fight the Wither. I, um, I was originally going to show you a good way to farm the Wither, but in 1.7 there is literally no good way to farm it that isn't impossible in survival. So, I decided I'd just show you the best way to fight the Wither since you can't, uh, farm it. And, but before we get started, as you can see down here, there's a village. This village um, is a pretty terrible village, I must say. It, it's really weird, and actually a lot of these doors were blocked off, like this one you could not get to. This wasn't here when I got here, and uh, neither was this. Couldn't get into that village. And the well was pretty terrible, but um, I think it's a cool world to start out with in survival, because you do get some materials to start out with. And you might get some good trades. I haven't checked the villagers' trades. You could have good trades, but... uh. Here's the seed, if you're interested. I will put this in the description of this video if you are interested in the village. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. It's about fighting the wither. So, uh, yeah, what you need to fight the wither. I'm going to basically go over what you need and then how to go about doing it. So, <clears throat> here is what I would say you need. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a cold. So, sorry if I'm annoying you. Anyway, here's what you need. Obviously, you need the materials to spawn the wither. I mean, that's just a given, right? You need the materials to spawn the wither. And, uh, so yeah, that, if you don't know, that's four soul sand and three wither heads. And, uh, you can get these wither heads, um, well, the soul sand's really easy to get. It's really abundant in the nether. But wither heads, you have to get by killing wither skeletons. And they're really rare. A when a wither skeleton dies, it has a 1 in 40 chance of dropping a wither head. So you'll have to kill around 120 before you get all three wither heads. So it's going to take a while, so you have to be patient. Also, uh, so here's what you're going to need to actually fight the wither. You're going to need some armor. Um, I would recommend all diamond, but iron would probably work as long as it's enchanted pretty well. Um, blast protection is good because the wither does explode at the beginning. You just want general protection is good too, and then I got some unbreaking here too. So, you know, that's all good. We got some powerful armor here. And then you're going to need a diamond sword. I really think it has to be diamond because otherwise it's not as, um, just there's nothing compares to diamond. And, uh, I've enchanted mine with sharpness 5. You want a powerful enchantment, enchantment at least level 4. I would recommend either Sharpness or Smite, because, uh, well, Sharpness works on everything, and then the Wither is considered an undead mob, so um, Smite actually does damage, more damage to it. I haven't actually done a test to see which one, Sharpness or Smite, gives more attack damage, but I might post an annotation if I figure that out. Um, yeah, so then there's, uh, this is just a diamond pickaxe with efficiency 5. You don't, you could have a wooden pickaxe, it doesn't really matter what pickaxe it is or how powerful it is. I just did this for time reasons. And then, uh, potions. You need a potion of strength. This is strength 2. Uh, it, uh, the, it gives, you can see, plus 260% attack damage. It's gonna do a lot of damage on the wither. It's gonna really help. And then, um, I got a regeneration potion with regeneration 2. That's, um, the Wither does give the Wither 2 effect, which can drain your health pretty fast, so regeneration helps with that. And then, uh, over here I got two Splash Potions of Healing. I would call this optional, right here, because, um, sorry about that, uh, the Splash Potions of Healing, you really, you probably won't need them, I probably won't use them, but if you do find yourself in a tough situation, uh, these are really good. Because uh, not only do they heal you, since the wither is considered undead, they actually hurt the wither. And, uh, yeah, so la and lastly, there's just milk. I would recommend this, although it's not necessary. This is to drink after you've killed the wither to stop the wither effect from killing you, because it actually does last a fairly long time. And, uh, yeah, that's really all you need. <clears throat> yeah, that's all you need, so let's get started. I'm going to show you how to kill the wither. So the first thing you're going to want to do... Jeez, terrible lag. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, the first thing you're gonna want to do is um, I'm gonna give myself some food, which is actually probably something you might want, or you just might want to eat a lot before, and eat a lot before you fight it. But anyway, 
Here's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna you're gonna wanna dig down a bit until you're surrounded by stone, like no gravel or, or dirt patches underground. So I'll uh, fast forward myself doing that. All right. So uh, once you get down far enough, you're just gonna want to. I think it's far enough. You can just decide what you think is far enough. And then once you've gotten down that far, you want to just strip mine off in one direction like this. So for 25 to 30 blocks, just do this. And then, uh, yeah, I'll come back to you when I've done that. Alright, I think that's a sufficient strip mine. Yeah, it's about 25, 30 blocks. Okay, so once you've gotten, once you feel you've strip mined enough, then uh, you want to take the end of your strip mine, go out three blocks from that. And then on either side, uh, one, two, three, on either side, go out two blocks, like this. Then once you've done that, raise the ceiling one block. And once you've done that, you have a pretty wide open space. Then what you want to do, you want to take the soul sand for spawning the wither, and you want to arrange it in the correct pattern, which is a T, like this, a T shape. Then you want to take two of the three wither heads and place them. Oops. There we go. And then before you place the third one, here's what you want to do. You want to take some cobblestone, because you well you all have a ton by now, and then take the cobblestone and just arrange it around the wither. Because you want to restrict its movement as much as possible. So you can see I'm literally blocking all of it off. I'm going to block the entire wither off, except for the one spot where I need to place the wither head. So, yeah, there we go. Now I can just... Yeah, it's the one spot I need to keep open so I can place the wither head. <coughs> then what you want to do, you want to arrange your inventory and get ready, because it's not going to be a long fight, It's and you'll find, you'll find it's not as hard as you think, but you got to do things exactly the right way. As long as you do them the right way, it'll be perfectly fine, and everything will work out. So here's what you do. Once you've blocked off the wither, get your third wither head ready, like that. Then here's what you want to do. You want to place the wither head. Right when you place it, the wither's going to spawn. You want to back up about five to six blocks, like right down here. Drink your strength potion, drink your resistance potion, then take out your sword and block like this until the wither explodes. Then when it explodes, rush up at it and spam it with your sword. You'll find that it's not that difficult, so I'm about to do it and show you. Alright, so here we go. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Alright, here we go. Got it. Alright, there we go. Then you can drink the milk to stop your wither effect, and bam, I got my nether star, just like that. And I didn't even have to use these healing potions. Alright guys, so uh, yeah, that's it. That'll have to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. My name is Fahrenheit646. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, favorite, subscribe. And yeah, I will see you in my next video, which should be a tutorial on my hidden fireplace entrance, which I made a couple weeks back, maybe a month ago. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that'll be my next video. You can count on that, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.